Hello friends, today we shall discuss how to determine conflict points at an intersection. Conflict point is an area, very small area or you can say a point in the intersection area where there is a possibility of conflict between two vehicles. Two vehicles can collide with each other. There are four types of conflict uh, movement. One is crossing movement. When two vehicles cross path of each other, that is crossing movement. This is the conflict point. And this you can imagine at any intersection when two vehicles cross path of each other. It can be at 90 degree also. It can be oblique also like this. This is a conflict point. In the case of conflict, it can be acute angle or it can be obtuse angle also. So this is the point of conflict. These are crossing conflict and they are considered major points of conflict. In addition to that, you have merging. When two traffic streams merge together, then that is the point of merge, point of conflict. This is the area of possible conflict here, behind the point of conflict. This can be either from left side or it can be from right side like this or it can be mutual also. When two traffic stream coming from different directions, they merge together and make a single stream, then this is a mutual merging. Third is diverging. When a traffic stream or a vehicle leaves the lane, and diverge into a different direction. That is diverging movement. Diverging movement is also a minor type of conflict as in case of merging. Merging requires a gap because if this vehicle has to merge with the main stream, it will require certain gap here. But diverging does not require any gap. It only requires to provide a signal to the following vehicle and then leave the lane. And that is why in some of the textbooks you will find that diverging is not considered a conflict point. But this is a conflict point of minor nature. And the diverging can be similar to that. It can be to the left side or it can be to the right side or it can be in a different directions from the same stream that is mutual diverging. At, at for example, for example, here at T intersection, a vehicle approaching from this direction will either go to this side or to this side. That is mutual diverging. So that is the point of conflict here. Point of conflict. And the fourth is weaving. Weaving movement. Weaving movement occurs on expressways and on roundabouts. When two traffic streams merge together and then diverge. So this is the traffic stream. A stream merges with this stream for and it travels along the stream for some length of the highway and then diverges here. That is the point of merge and that is the point of diverge. This is called weaving. Weaving is very prominent on roundabouts. Weaving is prominent on expressways also when you have a on ramp followed by off ramp here. So this is the vehicle which are basically merging with the main stream and then they diverge here. That is weaving section. These are weaving, merging, diverging, crossing. Four types of movement at intersection. Out of these crossing is considered to be the major points of conflict whereas merging, diverging, weaving are minor. So let us see how do we draw these conflict points at a T intersection. How many points of conflict are there at a T intersection? Let us say you have a T intersection, three lag intersection and you want to see, now both streets are two way streets. So, 
a vehicle coming from this direction will move to this side and it will merge with this stream. That is the point of merge here. It will diverge to this side also, it will merge to this stream, that is the point of conflict here, this is the point of diverge here. Then a vehicle coming from this direction, from this direction will go either straight or will take a right turn. So this is the crossing here, this is another crossing here and the third crossing here. These are three major crossing points and similarly a vehicle coming from this direction can take a left turn also. So you have a point of merge here and a point of diverge here. This is the point of diverge here. So these are total you see here three crossings and all three are oblique crossing. None of them is normal crossing or perpendicular crossing. This is diverging, this is diverging, this is diverging. So three diverging points. And three merging points. So you can say three major points of conflict that is crossing and six minor, minor points of conflict. Three diverging and three total nine points of conflict will be there if you have a three lag intersection with two way traffic on each lag. If any of these two, any of these road is made one way, then they will reduce. Let us say the main street on a three lag intersection is one way and the side road which joins the main road is two way. So in that case there will be very limited movements. A vehicle coming from this direction can take a right, right turn and this will be like this. Similarly, a vehicle coming from this direction can take a right turn but it should merge with this lane. So in that case this will be the moment. So this is now merging point, this is a diverging point here and because it is only moving, it can only move to the right, it cannot go to the left. So there is no diverging or merging here, it is a simple movement. And similarly here also, there is no merging here. So now you have a diverging point, a merging point and a crossing point here. So one major point of conflict that is crossing and one diverging, one merging. So total points reduced to 1, 1, 1 rather than 3, 3, 3 when you have both streets two way. It is now one crossing, one merging, one diverging. A four lag intersection, both streets are two way street. So you have this moment and this moment. You have this moment here and this moment here. So these are four points of crossing which are at 90 degree that is automatically made. Now a vehicle coming from this direction can go either left or can go right. So if it goes left then this merges here, this is one point, this is one point. And if it goes right, then let me take it from here and it goes like this. So it is a merging here and a diverging here. So two minor points here, one here, one here. Similarly, if you take from this direction, from opposite direction, it can be either a left turn, left turn merging here or it can be a right turn, right turn merging here. Now when you are making right turn here, this will cross this through movement also here and here. That makes another two additional points of crossing but they are oblique. 
and similarly here this is another crossing another crossing point so now four crossing points initially now you have four more that is now eight similarly if you take from this side it can be either a left or it can be a right like this right movement so here this is your merge diverging and it merges here it merges here again you have another point of crossing this one this one this one and this one four more points of crossing appear now and similarly from this direction if you take a right turn this goes like this okay it merges here diverges from this point or it can be like this okay so another merge a diverging point another merging point and these are additional four points of crossing That is the condition at a four lag intersections. If you count here, there are 16 crossing points, 8 merging, 8 diverging, total 32. So, in case of a two way, two lane street crossing each other, there are 32 points of conflict where vehicles can collide with each other if they are not careful. If pedestrians are also present, let us say at this intersection, pedestrians are also present. Now pedestrians will cross here, the intersection at their zebra, here, here, or here. You see here, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six points of pedestrian vehicle conflict on one lag 6 into 4 24 so 24 points of pedestrian vehicle conflict that is how the movement at a uncontrolled two way two lane road crossing is dangerous because there are 32 points of conflict between vehicles and vehicles, 24 points of conflict between pedestrian and vehicles. Now, if you make this street one way and this remains two way, then these points of conflict, you can draw yourself, these points of conflict will reduce to 7 crossing and 8 merging or diverging. I mean 7 points of major conflict and 8 points of minor conflict. 32 points reduced to 815. If we make both streets one way, then you can see here there are 4 points of crossings and now there will be no right turn from this direction because this is one way. So, there will only be left turn. So, this will be left turn. This is diverging, this is merging. Similarly, there will be no left turn from this direction. There can be only right turn. So, right turn will not be from this lane, it will be from this lane. So, this will be a diverging, this will be a merging. That is it. So, you have 4 points of crossing and 4 points of diverging and merging. So, 4 plus 4 total 8, 8 points of conflict. Now, if you look at the roundabout, how the conflict points are generated at a roundabout. This is a roundabout, single lane roundabout. Here, the circulating flow, that is circulating flow, each vehicle entering roundabout will merge in the circulating flow that is your in vehicle and then it will diverge to required direction. So, if it is going left, let us say, it will be, that is your weaving, 
this is merging this is diverging it can go to this direction also this direction also then in that case this point will shift to this point similarly from this direction a vehicle coming from this direction will merge with the circulating flow and then diverge to this direction this is one this is one same is case here same is the case here this is that or this is that so you have now eight there is no crossing that is the advantage of having a roundabout that all crossings are converted into merging and diverging movement no crossing so there are only eight points if you have pedestrians also then pedestrian will cross here that is your pedestrian crossing pedestrian crossing pedestrian crossing so you have now another eight points each cross each pedestrian will cross the stream here so another eight points are added now if this roundabout is a two lane or dual lane roundabout then in that case there will be two lanes in the circulating flow two lane at the entry and two lanes at the exit then in that case the number of conflict point will naturally increase let us see this is a dual lane roundabout two lane approach each approach is of two lanes and there are two lanes here also in the circulating area now here if you see the path of the vehicle, a vehicle coming from this direction in the inner lane will move like this because you have a lane here. So it has to merge with the traffic. So it will merge with this traffic and then exit as I have shown you in the earlier case. Now here is the merging and this is the diverging point. If a vehicle is coming in this lane, coming from this lane, then in that case it will merge with the inner lane and then it will exit to this lane. So here again a, a merging and a diverging. But point here is that it is now crossing this stream also. So here is the point of crossing also. Here is the point of crossing also. So two points of crossing and four points of merging and diverging. Same case will be here, here and here. So you have now eight points of crossing and eight diverging, eight merging. So total 24. In case of a single lane roundabout, we saw only 8 points. But the, when the roundabout becomes dual lane, then in that case, the points of conflict become 24. So that is how we draw conflict points at an intersection. How these points can be reduced by proper planning. That I have discussed in a separate video, how to reduce conflict points at an intersection. You can watch that. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.